Uh, it's time for another math. Easy solution to discuss. Another example uh, for the quotient rule for derivatives. So basically, now look at a tangent line example. But before I get to it, I just want to quickly recap on the quotient rule. Basically, if f and g are both differentiable functions, meaning the derivative exists, or you can take the derivative at any specific interval you're looking at. Basically, if you have y equals fx divided by g of x, or you have a quotient of functions right here, then the derivative is going to be the derivative of fx times g of x minus fx times the derivative of g of x all divided by g of x squared or you could write it as this way y prime equals f prime times g minus f times g prime all divided by g squared and the proof for this you can see this in the video links uh, below as well as other examples and anyway so this is the example I want to go over this it states find an equation of the tangent line to the curve y equals ex divided by 1 plus x squared at the point uh, x equals 1 and y equals e divided by 2 or at point 1 and e divided by 2. So basically uh, to find the equation of the tangent line, well, we know that yeah, we know that basically if it's some, if you have a curve like this, then if you have a line tangent to it, then at this point is basically it has the same slope right here. That's basically what a tangent line means. So the same slope at this point here in this case, we have one here. Actually, and then this is gonna be, well this is x equals one. So yeah, this is at x equals one, and then you'll have an e over two somewhere here. But this is this curve, I'm just guessing it looks something like that. But uh, anyway, so the, th the first thing to do is find the slope, and you would have to take a derivative of, y, of this function y equals, let's write it down, neither e to the x divided by one plus x squared. So now there's, this is a, a division right here, and a, and first thing to do is always see if you could simplify it further, but you can't do it in this case. So now we could just simply apply the quotient rule by taking the derivative according to this uh, theorem right here. So we can go, so this could be the top and this could be the bottom. So this could be f, this could be g of x. And then, so we just go y prime is gonna be equal to, well, the derivative of the top, which is, uh, which is f, f prime here. So e to the x, derivative of e to the x, is just e to the x. You can see more on this in my video link below on the number e and its derivative. And basically, so that's e to the x, and then we times it by the bottom, which is g. That's just gonna be, well, one plus x squared. And then subtract this by uh, e to the x, which is just the top, and then times the derivative of this, the bottom right here, which is, well, the derivative of one is zero, the derivative of x squared is just two x right here. And then all this divided by, one plus, so we go one plus x squared, and then squared, so we squared the bottom right here. We could simplify this uh, further. We'll take the e to the x out of there, so we can actually write it down as y prime is equal to e to the x, and then take it out, just to make it a bit simpler. We can write it as, uh, well, x squared. I'm gonna rearrange it, so x squared on the, on the left of it, and then put this negative, uh, put this two x in there, so negative two x, plus one right here. And once again, it's all divided by one plus x squared divided by two. I mean, I mean, uh, one plus x squared all squared, not divided by two. So we have something like this. And then this top one here, if you factor it out, this is just equal to e to the x, and then this is x minus one squared right here. Because if you were to uh, factor it out or expand it, you're gonna get this exact thing. You're all gonna write one plus x squared. You can see more on this in my factoring video in my video link below. Basically, you were, you look at a number, this one here, uh, a, a number that when you add them up, to, uh, when you add up the number, it goes to negative two, but then when you multiply, it goes to plus one. So you see this, this is basic, basic factoring. So now we have to find out what the derivative is at, at basically uh, one and e over two or in this case, x equals to uh, one right here. So we can just plug in x equals one into this right away. So we get y prime at, uh, let's go x equals one, let's put a one in there, is equals to e to the one times one minus one squared, one plus one, uh, well it's squared, it's gonna be the same thing, two, so we can put a squared here. So the, 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 bot the bottom's gonna be two squared four, but then you have a zero right here. So there's one minus one is zero. So we have a derivative that is zero. And, and like I showed before, if a derivative is zero, because number of derivatives rise over run, so we write a rise over run, 
So if you rise uh, zero and run zero, it just means you're not going up at all. So this is just a horizontal uh, slope right here. Oh, it's right down. So this is the slope is horizontal. So it'd be something like that. Y prime equals to zero. So if the slope is zero, then the equation of the line, well, because then you're gonna have somewhere where it's an e over two. So that the equation of the line is gonna be y equals e over two, because it has to equal this. So then. At, at, at any x value, it's always going to be over t, e divided by 2. So this is our answer right here, and you could even graph it out. Okay, so here I've graphed it with Google graphing calculators. Type in ex uh, divided by 1 plus uh, x squared, and then and as well as line e divided by 2. As you can see, this the blue one is the, the curve we're trying to find the tangent line to, and then the red is the tangent line. So at the point 1, there's e over 2 is somewhere over here, but 1.3. So when you zoom in, as you can see, it is perfectly tangent to it and it's horizontal. So that's, that is our equation uh, of the line. So y equals e divided by 2 right there. But yeah, so I just wanted to show that. So basically, it's right over there. Yeah, and here, I just uh, copied and pasted that, ex that same curve right here just to show it uh, just to show it on this Word document. Because you can download those exact notes in the Dropbox link below. So that's equation y equals... Uh, e over 2, or that's the red one here, and then the blue one is uh, this one right here. Well, anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully, you learn from this example, and uh, make sure to watch the uh, video links below on the uh, related videos of uh, th that goes over the proof of this and other examples. And anyways, hopefully, you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for another math easy solution.